Yo, what is good, everybody? Anthony here. Today, we're going to be cracking open a brand new Indian action film, Kill. This movie, yo, this movie right here is brutal. See? Die Hard meets Mumbai Rush Hour or John Wick on a train with some Indian flair. So the story goes like this. Amrit, our commando hero, is a tough guy with a heart, right? And this dude has this girl that he loves named Talika, but the problem is that she's been arranged to marry someone else. Oh well, you know, you win some, you lose some. But things take a sharp turn left when a gang of bandits hijack her train. Now, Amrit's gotta find a way to fight his way through a squad of blade-wielding goons to try to save his girl. Let's start off with, of course, the good. Now, let me tell you, right? The fight choreography is kind of tight. Like, dodge a flying knife in a moving train type. Not sure how realistic that is, but hey, it looks really, really cool. Every punch and kick feels like it has a real weight behind it. The fight choreography is really, really impressive to watch, especially considering the cramped quarters of the train. It makes every fight feel like a desperate struggle for survival and, you know, props to those set designers. They built a whole dang train. Now, that's some serious commitment. Or maybe they just couldn't find a real train that was running on time. It, whatever the case, the set design is fantastic with realistic interiors and exteriors that really pull you into the action of all the hand-to-hand -hand fighting. And the story? It's, you know, it's not your typical action. Kill does draw inspiration from real-life train robberies in India, which adds a layer of historical intrigue. Plus, the story throws some curveballs at you while keeping you guessing on what's going to happen next. Now let's switch to the not so good stuff. Cause you know, Kill isn't perfect. The acting can be a bit, you know, let's just say that they're really passionate about their roles. Maybe a little too passionate at times, but hey, at least they're having fun, right? And the villains, they're pretty one dimensional. They're just here to be bad guys without much depth to their motivations. Also, with so much fighting going on, there's not a lot of space for character development or emotional depth. You know, the story has twists and turns, but some of them are just gonna leave you scratching your head, right? You're just gonna scratch your head and wonder what it is that you just watched. It's, it's a nonstop action ride from start to finish, for sure. But there's some things in there that happen that you're just gonna be wondering what? So, should you watch it? Well, if you enjoyed films like The Raid and you can handle your action at smaller, tighter, confined doses, then sure, give it a shot. Kill is definitely worth checking out if you like those kinds of movies. The fight choreography is... Great, old man, how are you? I'm doing really, really good. Very excited to speak with you both. Um, I know you guys are very, very busy. I'll try to be as brief as possible. Um, so I'm just going to hop right in. Um, so, uh, Nikhil, I'm starting with you. What inspired you to create Kill? Like, can you tell us about the early beginnings of this project? Uh, it comes from a personal experience. Uh, I was on one such train which got robbed. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was, yes, yes, yes. It was way back in 1994, 95. I was a student, I was traveling. And uh, to be very honest, I was sleeping throughout the time, so I did not see anything happening. Okay. But when I woke up, I, I saw there too many cops all around, and I got to know my next coach, which was which was a first class coach, which got dropped by 25, 30 robbers. And uh, there were there were also a bunch of soldiers who were traveling in my compartment, like my coach, uh, which did not get robbed. And they started saying that, you know, if the robbers would have tried robbing this coach, we would have shown them. We would have, we would have really beat the shit out of them. That's, that, wow, that story stayed with me for the longest time. So this is the genesis of that. Uh, the kill is genesis. The story is the genesis of kill. What made you choose Lakshya for the role of Amr? Like, how did you know that he was going to be the right fit? Uh, you know, I go a lot of, with my instincts. Um, and I met 
luck uh, for the first time. This is this is the only time I met him before uh, casting him. So I met him. I narrated the story to him. He was all very excited, and I could see when I was telling him the story, I could see so many expressions on his face. You know, he was like every time when I would tell, there was there was there was love coming on his face. Then there was guilt. There was rage. There was anger. There was there was sadness. So I could see that you know he's getting the story really well. And the best part about Lakshya is that you know he's got this pair of eyes which are. You know, um, which can shower so much of love as well as rage at the same time. You know, so uh, and and Amrit, the character which Laksh plays, has got like he's got two different, um, you know, two different sets of uh, uh, emotions. So in the beginning, he's he's a guy who's like fully, uh, you know, madly, truly, deeply in love with her. Uh, besotted with his girlfriend, and he wants to, you know, there are hopes and dreams of. Starting a new family with her, uh, new life with her, and that and those get like you know those get trashed, and then then a person changes and he goes through morphosis and becomes a monster. So you know these two things which are the which which were very very important for uh, for Amrit to happen, and so that vulnerability and that and that that relentless rage, uh, which. Laksh is 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 fully you know he uh, he has it in him. So Laksh, Nikhil is describing some really powerful emotions and reactions. Can you tell us how how did you feel? What are these emotions that you felt the first time you heard the script for Kill? Like what attracted you to the role of Ambre? Oh, uh, see, I'm I'm immensely inspired by action films. I'm massively inspired by action films. Like from the time Rocky came out, Rocky became my favorite film. Then. Uh, White House Down, Taken, uh, Indian films like Shole, Mr. Bachchan, all these guys I've I've grown up watching them. So when I always and also while growing up, I grew up in a in a in a neighborhood where like you know a, a man is where he can fight like ten people at one point <laughs> at at one time. So I was always in this head my own hero. I was always manifesting that one fine day I will become a commando and probably I will be saving people. Uh, so all those stories were happening back of the head when I was growing up. So then, cut to I became an actor. Things started happening, and then kill happened. When I heard kill for the first time, no mm-hmm. dreams rushed back, and it just felt like a moment of, oh, you know, I manifested something. I was asking something, and it just happened, and uh, it was uh, exhilarating to be honest. <laughs> I was on cloud nine when I heard the script, and uh, the way he narrated every point, because what you see in the film, everything was penned down by him. Nothing was, nothing was like. Was happened just happened or improvised on sets? It was everything from a small slash to a massive slash. Everything was written, detailed, nuanced. So I was just imagining myself doing all those scenes, all those scenes when he was narrating them. And by the end of it, my only question to him was that when are we getting started? <laughs> as soon as we can. And yeah, and I couldn't, and that's why like the the, the training process went on for eight months, and I was so excited. That I didn't even miss a single day. I was just going every day, day in day out, maintaining my diet, uh, working out, uh, looking the best, looking like a commando. And <laughs> throughout the process, I was excited. And even now, when I talk about it, it just it, this stirs a certain emotion in me. Well, talk about it a little more. Like, what was it like that first day of filming? Like, you're getting in between those, and you're getting ready to do these tight action sequences. What went through your mind when you were making these magical moments? So, I have a little bit of experience in action because I had done a show uh, called Porous, which had quite a lot of action in that. Uh, so, I was little comfortable, but that space genuinely concerned me a bit because it was too restricted. It was it it was not allowing me to fully flow because I have like. I'm a I'm a big guy. Like I have my I couldn't extend my arm also to an extent. Plus you have to make sure that you're not hurting the other person. He's not hurting you. There's a cameraman right behind you. <laughs> there are other actors also. So just being aware of your surrounding. Uh, I was a little nervous. Not a little nervous. I was very nervous. I was like sweating and all. And to myself, I was just forcing myself. You know how you when you're ex- extra nervous, you start telling yourself that okay, bro, you're the best. You're the best. That you you can do it. You can do it. So all those pep talks started happening in my head. uh but then of course like uh it went not very smooth it uh, went a little it was a bumpy ride but eventually we found a very a sweet spot where we all became comfortable with the space and when that happened okay now we are confident then we felt home we were like okay now we can we, we got this 
Well, what was the collaboration like between you two? You know, you bringing your action experience and Nikhil being so detailed. Were there any particular moments where your ideas really combined and clicked? I think throughout the film, not even a single point where we were conflicted or we had some sort of uh, discussion. We had discussion, but like, yeah, discussion. but not to an extent where like we have to convince each other. We were convinced with each other throughout the film, and like we didn't have to talk each other out of any conversation. Uh, there were days then uh, when he there was a very unsaid bond that we started sharing after a while. Like he could understand what I want, I could understand what he wants out of the scene. So I remember that everybody on the set, because he he just he came one fine day, one fine morning. I'm sitting in my vanity, getting uh, my makeup done, and he just looked at me, and I'm sitting with like puffy eyes in a zone, listening to some uh, sad music. I don't want to feel happy, and you know I'm down that road. And he looked at me. He just said, he just raised his thumb up. He's like, are you good? Like through his eyes, he's saying, are you good? And I'm like, yeah, I'm good. And then he left. And then the, he he saw my face. He he went to the sets. I think everybody was told by him that okay, he's in a zone right now. Nobody should go around him. Nobody should talk uh, frivolous stuff around him, and let him be in a space. And I didn't even ask for that. So when I reached the sets, I saw a massive change in people. The whole set was just like not uh, not giving me all the time. They were giving me. They just made me comfortable. They made me feel very important each and every day on that set. That that's amazing. Well, I, I know your time is very valuable. Um, I'm, I'm gonna. I really appreciate you both speaking with me. As I let you go, are there any other projects you're working on, or is there anything you're working, um, you have coming up in the future that you're excited about after Kill? Will you guys work again together, please? Of oh, course. <laughs> but if, if Kill gets a lot of love from you guys, then we are definitely working on part two. For sure. Excellent. Very. I, I. I'm. I'm really, really hoping to see you guys collaborate again. This is a, is an amazing a movie, amazing experience. I'm going to be doing everything I can to encourage my audience to check you guys out. Thank you both so much. I really appreciate it. Brutal. The premise is kind of unique, and the story has some unexpected twists. Anyway, that's my take on Kill. What did you all think? Did you think it lived up to the hype? Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to check you guys all later. Peace. Oh, and uh, don't forget to like, subscribe for more awesome video reviews. Check you all later. Peace.